recording. All right, so today we are going to uh, talk about GitHub uh, roles and workflows for WordPress documentation team. Uh, I am at WordPress.org, so let's see, uh, let's go through uh, a geography first a little bit. So when you go to make WordPress, it should work, okay, make WordPress, and you find documentation, and here is a blog, uh, the pinned post is where all onboarding sessions lives and live and you can go through them if you're just starting out and we have uh, agendas and summaries for meetings and everything else that is related to the team and then we have handbook and in handbook some parts are out of date some parts are up to date uh, we are trying to keep it up, but uh, it's not always possible. Uh, and here in Get Involved, you can find team roles. This is the latest addition to the handbook. Uh, so we have roles per responsibility. Basically, there are three types of contributors. Everybody is contributor. <laughs> Uh, then we have project reps. These are people who are also members of the team and they're in charge for different projects. So the documentation team has uh, different projects working, that we are working on and team reps. These are people, these are not team leads. These are people who basically know everything that what's happening uh, in the team. Um, and today we are going to talk about uh, non-project roles. So project-based roles, uh, you can compare them, you can find them here. So each of these are projects and non-project roles are uh, facilitating meetings, issue triages, uh, writing meeting notes, notes uh, GitHub, issues coordinator, issues reviewer, onboarding coordinator, and contributor day facilitator. So today we are going to talk about GitHub issues coordinator, issues reviewer, and issues triages. This is basically um, because we are talking about issues at GitHub. Uh, that's why we are going to talk about that today. But basically this is just facilitating a meeting. So let's go first to uh, issues triage facilitator. You can find here uh, responsibilities, how to do this job and what are recommended onboarding sessions. So for GitHub related roles, uh, recommended are all because GitHub is a place where we work on all documentation issues. So here we have a link. You can find it from here, but you can also uh, go to, if you want a longer ride, uh, you go to GitHub and then you search WordPress and then you find organization or you just go here. No, it's better to go to Right, we can go there, and this is WordPress organization, and here you start typing documentation, and here it is, documentation issue tracker. Now, this, um, this repository has basically nothing here. This is not the place where documentation lives. This is a place where we work on documentation. So here we have uh, some contribution, co contributing documents, license, readme file. Uh, and here are some workflows that are uh, uh, connected to this repository and some projects. Uh, so the purpose of this 
repository are these issues. And any issue with documentation dot documentation at WordPress.org, which has uh, many places. Uh, here, if we go to this documentation, uh, now everything can be found here. This is uh, end user documentation, uh, but then we have developer documentation, which can be found here and also here. And here are uh, handbooks for developers. So that's a, a two major uh, parts of documentation, end user and developer documentation. And also everything that you saw here, uh, this is contributor documentation that uh, every team has to take care of. Uh, so all of that, when you find issue with that, uh, you report it here with documentation issue tracker. We have a list of labels here. And from here, you can, you know, click on the number and you will get all the issues labeled. Now, if you, if you want to do a multiple labels, like let's say I want block editor, but also just for 6.1, then what you can do is label and six one and then you will oh it's dot sorry and then you will get uh, so that's a little tip that you can't really find anywhere except in github documentation so um this is the geography also here you can find projects so some of these issues are uh, placed in a project so it's easier to work with them. For example, uh, we have projects for uh, documentation for WordPress releases. And this one was for the most recent release. So this is how it looks like. And you can add there any issue or any PR from any GitHub repository under WordPress uh, organization. So that's geography. And now let's see um, what the roles are doing. So every two weeks we have um, issues triage. And uh, what does that mean? Uh, we just go through all of these issues and try to, you know, triage them and and make them uh, uh, make make things move, <laughs> make people work on them. Because you often forget that there are new issues, that there are some high priorities. Uh, so the point of uh, triage meetings is to go through priorities and uh, see what's, what can be done there uh, to move things forward. For example, in WordPress 6.1, um, here for end user, oh, we have here end user high. That means a uh, high priority. So, you just open the ticket, see what's happening. Does it need to be reviewed? The, is everything completed? But basically you just, uh, by leading, facilitating the, the meeting, you uh, just copy link to it and post it in our Slack channel. Like um, here, where is docs? here you post it here and uh, then see who is responsible for that what to do with that issue uh, so you don't really have to uh, know how to work on that you just uh, have to communicate with um, with a project 
reps to see what's the priority. Uh, so here are project reps and you can find them all here in the theme. So you contact those people and see what's the priority for their projects and what they want to be mentioned in, uh, in triaging issues meeting. Uh, the point, as I said, is to uh, prevent staling and to move things forward. If something, uh, if an issue wasn't touched for a month, then it and it has been assigned to someone, you should just reassign it to no one or find someone who is going to work on that. But something needs to happen uh, so that we just keep things moving. Uh, we will never have everything up to date because we don't have enough people. And it's just the nature of documentation. You, you can't really have everything always up to date. And that's okay. Uh, it's not, not pressure, but uh, let's just keep things uh, moving. So that's for uh, how to do that job. The, the, here is the list. And if anything is unclear, about that, uh, then uh, just ping me in Slack or wherever you find me and uh, or just open a issue in our uh, repository and say this, this documentation is not complete. Uh, let me go back. There is a Um, um, team roles, there is this open issue where I have been working on documentation about the roles. So if there's something missing or is unclear, feel free to post here or just open new issue. Uh, and that's the triage facilitator, issues coordinator. Now we don't have this uh, anyone doing this so far, but there is a need for that. And um, you can read it here, but the long story short, uh, we need someone who is going to uh, monitor all new issues here and when there's a new issue you open it you read what's all about you find out which project it belongs to and then you label it so this plugins is for project uh, for this one handbook uh, about developing plugins uh, we also have Themes and let me go back. Okay. Uh, to labels. So here you see uh, we have uh, labels for WordPress versions, then advanced administration. This is new handbook that will live here, here, uh, but it's still in developing. Uh, APIs, that is a common APIs handbook um, block editor can be both this block editor for developers, but also for end users, uh, which was, oh, come on. Right, I'm gonna just open it. Okay, so here uh, we have end user documentation and there are uh, block editor articles. So this label covers both of them. Uh, bug, if something, we don't really have bugs 
that something is not working. Uh, so it's not really error in documentation itself. It's something just doesn't work as expected. Code reference is this one. Uh, contributor documentation and contributor day, those are for uh, contributor documentation for our for this handbook and for uh, contributor days when we organize them um, developer documentation covers all of this so you get the point there are uh, labels for projects labels for uh, wordpress versions labels for workflows like help wanted, high priority, internal tasks, uh, medium priority, uh, migration from codex. So that's that could be, you know, both end user documentation and developer documentation, but we are, we are just migrating things from codex. So there can be uh, different labels what, um, what GitHub issues coordinator should do is apply those labels uh, in on the issue. And we have a workflow where when you apply the label um, here, because the plugins label was applied, then GitHub Action uh, will mention the project wrap for plugin handbook. And so they get notified uh, to check out that issue. Uh, also, this is not me commented. This, this is another workflow. Uh, when any new issue is created, then uh, docs issues coordinators would get notified. Now, currently, we have no people here. Uh, there's only me, and I'm getting notification by or comment made by myself. But uh, when we get people doing that, then you would get notification to check the issue and to label. After that, when the label is applied, automatically some other people will get notified by that. Also, this role uh, should uh, uh, um, welcome and assign contributors. So. The way we assign contributors to issues, I don't know why uh, is that if someone tells you, I want to work on that issue uh, and this person is not here in participants, you can't really assign them. And also they're not in WordPress organization, so you can't assign them. You have to have them here, which means they have to make a comment. Hey, I want to work on this. So when someone says, hey, I want to work on this, you as coordinator would assign them and maybe, you know, uh, make a comment like something welcoming and uh, who is the project wrapped, where to go, which videos to watch, uh, or maybe we can, you know, make that automated. But that's the point for coordinators to uh, really just coordinate issues to give them labels, to make sure uh, they go to correct people. And if someone wants to work on them, to welcome them, give them information where to go, to start, uh, who to ask for help and, and those things. So this is really, uh, you know, going into depth and uh, knowing every part of WordPress documentation. So this can be very complementing to the role of uh, issues triage uh, facilitator. So you get better uh, idea of uh, and better image of how the repo looks like and at this moment, and you can uh, you know, see what our priorities, what uh, project got ignored for a while and uh, what should be done and mentioned. Uh, so that's... Uh, Issues coordinator, again, we have some responsibilities. Now this role, as I said, no, no one is doing this. This is a new role because we notice that we don't really go to GitHub and check 
unless someone tells us, oh, you know, I, I opened the issue there or someone really mentioned you and you get the email. So we need someone who is going to do that, which means this is what I wrote here is just, you know, uh, an idea how this role should work. We don't know if that's reasonable, if that's if that should be split to two persons or maybe is not enough for one person or something should be added, we don't know. So this is just the idea of a role and we will fix this. So nothing is set in stone, N not, not for this role, not for any role. So we can fix this, we can change this once people start doing it and you know seeing flaws in it and maybe uh, getting new ideas of new workflows and things that can help um, everything goes smoothly but, but the point is someone to watch on new issues and to really make things uh, uh, flow to label things and just uh, from the beginning of the life of the issue that we can start working on it because we just keep forgetting you know before this uh, GitHub repo was created we had problems because people were uh, reporting issues in different places in the different uh, th there was no system for reporting issues for documentation and it was overwhelming and then we had to fix that problem and we fixed this uh, with creating this new repo and it was centralized place and people could just go there so we didn't think of another problem and that was that someone needs to go there and watch it so we we were just like oh okay now nobody is you know uh, poking us in slack so everything is fine no it's not fine because nobody's going there to watch it so this role is for that and the last role is issues reviewer so you noticed um, maybe here in, in this board, we have columns like need first review, need second review. So this is mostly for end user documentation because those are uh, articles. Developer documentation is not, not that uh, frequently updated uh, as end user documentation. And we have with new blocks, we always have new pages. So when when someone is writing that, we need first and second review. And uh, what review should cover, like for some, okay, this is tracking issue. This is not really a good example, but let's say template part block. So you will see here these um, items that should be done. And because people who write uh, documentation for this, they might not always have uh, permissions to check these uh, items that they have done. So we uh, kind of agreed on that person who is reviewing uh, the created content that should go to uh, documentation, they should, you know, check out all of that and, and make sure that everything is covered. So uh, this is someone who should be familiar with our style guide. So here we have covered everything about how to write uh, documentation at wordpress.org uh, what does it mean what what it should have what it shouldn't have there are some examples so someone who is familiar with that and also who is familiar with uh, documentation uh, articles like other articles these are uh, categories but here we can see how article looks like um, and especially block articles have a specific um, structure um, let me find it here uh, there's toolbar and block settings but 
I have a better example. For example, text blocks, okay, paragraph block. So there is a structure, there is always a video here, how to use this block and then block toolbar, explanation on, of everything in toolbar, then uh, block settings, which is in sidebar, and uh, there is change log. So someone who is going to review all these issues uh, should be familiar with all that structure, with the uh, style guide, uh, and also with workflow for uh, GitHub issues. And when everything is reviewed, they can they would have enough access to uh, move things to ready to publish and also publish changes and move it to done. Uh, so those are three roles that are tightly connected to GitHub. I don't know if I have missed anything here, um, but you can read it all at documentation. And um, as I said, this last one issues reviewer is mostly um, connected to end user documentation. So these are recommended onboarding sessions. Um, and of course, this one will be added there as well. Um, and that's about it. Uh, so if you have any questions now, please feel free to ask. No one? Okay, I guess I was. Is there anything in chat? I can't see chat. I can't see chat either. <laughs> I'm trying to find it. Um, I'll just ask here. Um, yeah. When you, for the GitHub reviewer role, um, is that, uh, are we reviewing things for the first review or the second review? Probably the second review, right? Oh, uh, well, either, you know, because uh it's it's a good practice to have a different set of eyes and as many as possible on article before it gets out so uh, you it can be the first and the second review it doesn't really matter you know maybe uh the starting point could be the second review maybe the the first review could be done by someone who is more experienced uh, but still, uh, you know, you can gain experience by some mentoring and getting mentored by uh, uh, more experienced members. Thank you. Sure. So that's about it. I don't know if I covered everything. If, uh, if things are uh, overwhelming, they are, and that's, that's okay. Uh, it always sounds much more scary than it is. And you don't really have to do everything. You can do just a little part and then, you know, share role with someone else until you're ready to do more. Or you can do uh, several roles if you feel you're ready. Uh, you can always find help in Slack channel. You can always ping me or anyone else. Uh, and, you know, we can do another session if you have another set of uh, questions for for these roles that I see now that you might have missed as well Milana mm -hmm. which is a good place to look and review what was actually done is this or is the result live to see on the site uh, can you please repeat I didn't hear the first uh... yeah uh, like the label or the column, sorry, where we're looking now on the page. Is done a good place to look and review what was actually done? Is this, or sorry, is the result live to see on the site? Yeah, yeah. So when, when it's ready to publish, it's basically everything is covered. So here uh, we have... Uh, 
So as you see, the workflow is not followed. This was supposed to be done by uh, a reviewer to check if all of this is inside uh, the update. So here we have screenshots, then we have a little bit of text, then uh, another set of screenshots. So it's kind of a mess, uh, but someone who is going to edit article knows uh, what to do with that and where all of that goes. So when it is in ready to publish, someone with access to dashboard will do all the edits. And once it's published, it will be moved to done. So when it's done, uh, you can see all the changes uh, in the article. And every issue, uh, especially for end user documentation, will have link to article if it already exists and all the info like what needs to be updated for 6.1 version what is left to be updated for 6.0 what is general so what is that every article has to follow like all screenshots are relevant to latest version images have alt tags videos are up to date uh, headings and so basically accessibility things and following the uh, style guide and all of that can be seen here so that all is updated uh, does this answer the question uh, put in the chat great thanks so thank you to be okay any more questions Okay, so I guess we are done then. Um, and, for, and for any additional question that you come up with or anything else, feel free to post them in Slack and we will work on that. Well, thank you everyone for your time and see you soon in some other <laughs> session or maybe uh, just on meeting. Thank you, bye.